Good morning. I want to pose to you a few questions today that are just as much for me as for you. First question, what do we do with our time? And secondly, how much time do we spend with God before going out to tell others what we know? In Galatians chapter 1, Paul talks about his calling since he was in his mother's womb as to preach to the Gentiles. We all have a calling that we have been set apart for, and it's the same as Paul's was. It's to preach the gospel. Scripture says always be ready to give an answer for the hope that lies within you. Now this calling doesn't come easily, or at least it shouldn't. If you've got that down pat and find it's a simple task to preach the word of God, you're either much wiser than Paul was, and mind you, he did write about half the New Testament, or you might be in need of checking your pride. Has it got the better of you? And Paul himself said that he dies daily to self. He has to pick up his cross and that he doesn't do the things that he wants to do, but yet he does the things that he doesn't want to do. It's a battle of the flesh for the spirit to shine and be the witness that God called us to be. And so for the rest of us who, like Paul, don't have it all worked out, preaching and telling about Jesus is something that we work on daily. Now, I'm not saying it's daunting. It is a joy. I'm simply saying it requires us to step beyond common knowledge, beyond regular comfort. Let's get back to Paul. In Galatians chapter 1, he talks about how he used to be the most zealous of Jews, even persecuting Christians mercilessly. But then God stopped him and called him to the truth of Jesus, the Messiah. Now in verse 16 of Galatians 1, he says that his immediate response after converting was not to consult human beings. In fact, he went to Arabia by himself. Now away from the other apostles for three years, he was alone and he got acquainted with Peter for about 14 days after three years. And he saw James a bit, but that was it. And he went back to Syria and Sicilia for 14 more years. Now what was he doing during all that time? He was receiving the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now remember that the New Testament hadn't been written yet. He was well versed in the Old Testament. In fact, he excelled at it. But the gospel of Christ was revealed to him when he hid away for that 17 years. And then he was able to step into the public ministry that had awaited him since birth. Now he says that the gospel he preached was revealed to him by Christ himself. He didn't consult with others. He consulted with God. Do we listen to scripture more than we listen to people talking about the scripture? I mean, it's great to listen to teachers and Bible scholars, but do we solidify the teachings by reading out the scripture ourselves? This is quality time with God. John tells us that the word is God. So we spend time with God himself when we spend time in the word ourselves. This time with God gave Paul the wisdom he needed to preach the gospel of Christ. So again, I want to ask these questions. What do we do with our time? How much time do we spend with God before going out to tell others what we know? Paul explains in Galatians chapters 1 and 2, when he did meet with the disciples, that the message and the gospel that they had was exactly the same. The gospel that the disciples had was firsthand. They witnessed Jesus in the flesh. Paul had not witnessed Jesus in the flesh, but his witness matched what the disciples did. And how was that? Because of the time spent dwelling on God communing with him, asking him questions and waiting on his answers before moving on. 17 years of this revealed a bit more of God to him. And so again, I wonder, and I want you to ask yourself this too, what do we do with our time? How much time do we spend with God before going out to tell others what we know? I pray that you make time today to spend with God And then I pray that you go out and tell others what God has told you. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters.